Welcome back, everyone. Well, there's a handful of solid girls tennis teams currently battling it out in the Wyoming Valley Conference. Teams like Berwick, Holy Redeemer, Wyoming Area, and Wyoming Seminary are all in the mix, but the Hazleton Area Cougars are looking to make their mark and return to being Wyoming Valley Conference champs. What a year 2015 was for the Hazleton Area girls tennis team. Nice rally, okay. The Cougars went 14-0 in the regular season and picked up a Wyoming Valley Conference title. It definitely put a little bit of pressure on us to do it again, but you know, we just want to keep going, having fun, getting better, and go for districts. Well, the undefeated season last year, that was just unbelievable. It was my freshman year, and I didn't think that we would actually do that well, being not having any wins the year before. So definitely last year, it really helped us gain some like motivation to actually be undefeated again this year. But uh, we unfortunately had one loss, but that is okay. The singles are undefeated, so we're gonna keep going and hopefully pay off with the rest of the season. The undefeated regular season was capped off by a district championship in doubles last year for Stephanie Mazurek and Lily Nowak, both returning this year as just a junior and sophomore respectively, and ready to get at it again. So that was unbelievable. Steph and I, we had absolutely, we've never played together doubles. We were just singles, just one and two, and we did not think we would make it that far winning. It was just great, it was an amazing experience. It was a little tough getting together, but we just knew each other's strengths and weaknesses, so that definitely played a role in uh, our compatibility together. So when we went to doubles, we decided that who would play where, what would we do, and it worked off in the end. I think we're playing way better than last year, so I think being older and having a lot more strengths now, we could definitely do it again. Strengths, I think I like to come to the net more, and then Lily, she also has great ground strokes, so together for doubles, we make a good duo. To get back to a district title, we really have to want it and play competitively, go for every point and try to win hard. <laughs> for Stephanie and Lily, they're such strong players that they know the placements of the balls, where the ball has to go on a court. Um, they're able to work well together. It is a little bit of a change um, in doubles. You can use the alleys and more of the court, so that kind of plays a little factor, but they'll play well together. After 12 years at the helm of the girls' program, Amber Corrado stepped down last season and Katie Pavlik was hired this year. Pavlik, coming from MMI Prep, was excited to get started with this successful program and energized by the young talent. I was kind of nervous coming in. Um, I knew a lot of the girls prior. I had worked with some in the summer. Um, I coached MMI last year, so we got to play against these girls. I was nervous but confident. Um, the girls are a strong team. Uh, they play well together. And I, I knew we had our hands full, but hoping to do it again. Oh, the new dynamic, it's a lot of fun. The girls, we have a great time going to matches, games, and we're all very compatible. It's just a great time being able to play with these girls on my team. I love Katie, she's an amazing coach. She really um, motivates us to do well this year. There's a lot of new girls on the team, and she's definitely teaching them how to play, because some of them didn't know how to play, but this year it's been really nice. I like the coach, Katie's good, and so is Christine. I have no seniors this year. Um, they're all underclassmen, so we can only improve and get stronger throughout the winter and the summer, and come back again next season the same way. Having a team on the younger side, upperclassmen like Sophia Lozen provide experience and leadership on the court. I love the younger girls on this team. They're like my little sisters, so I definitely want to, you know, encourage them to keep in the sport and, you know, just be who they are. And, you know, I feel like I can encourage them a little bit. It should be an exciting race to the top for the Wyoming Valley Conference girls tennis teams. With great programs like Holy Redeemer, Wyoming Area, and Berwick battling it out, but the Cougars have their goals set. I want my team to go to districts again and try to get further than we did last year. They were Wyoming Valley Conference champs last year, so one of the biggest things was trying our hardest to maintain that. Um, they're playing well this year. We only are down one match. We're hoping to still uh, regain or come close to that Wyoming Valley Conference as a team this year. <laughs> Stay with us. Right after the break, you'll get to know Loyal Sock quarterback Marcus I Williams. Matthew because. He's a safety and he tore his ACL and he's recovering at the same time that I am, so I think it's pretty cool.